Texas. Breaking the law action there. Starting to have problems with my dash cams. Might have to be replacing them pretty soon. Always got to have them running. Hopefully, we can get our butts back to Denver. Like hitting the accelerator. Let's go on duty with our Obama clock. No, I am not here yet. This e-log sits there and you go through the motions of trying to go on duty. And it interrupts you halfway through it to ask you, are you here? And then put you into a whole other window. All drivers, press buzzer on the left. Paperwork, just in case. Right on. 
on time. Went to the TA truck stop here in Denton, Texas. And I had to pay to park. Which I don't mind because I just turned the receipts in and say, look at sent me here. There was nowhere to park. Look at that big old hole. I just like to hit that. I think that's what those boys are doing out there. Some people were complaining when I look at the reviews that this place is hard to park because of these trailers. I don't know. Well, I'm looking for a door that says shipping. I see doors, but I don't see any shipping. We're not hauling grocery, we're hauling books, magazines. There's receiving right there. Nice. I'll be right back. Okay. Door 39 or 40. I just pick whichever one I want, huh? He's like, sometimes they put a, a trailer in there, I go, oh, so whichever one's open, I have 39 or 40. Yep. Okay, but we... This doesn't take too long. It took a little while for the load yesterday, but she was pulling from different areas of her warehouse. It's like an hour and 15 minutes. Nothing like the grocery warehouse, like five, six hours. Crap. Looks like they're both open, 39 and 40. No, 39 it is. Ripper right around the corner here. Well, not literally. This is how we do it. Can't see the lines. Almost did it right the first time. The trick is placing your rear wheels where you want them, then you can maneuver after that. For some reason I can't seem to do it today. Okay. That looks pretty good right there. Let's see if we can keep it.
Now, in case you guys are wondering why do I do two like that on the brakes, normally I just do one, which is the red brake, trailer brake. And when I get loaded, I will do two, like I just did. If I just pull the yellow one, both of them will go. Sometimes I'll do that. Um, but mostly I just pull the red one and I just set the trailer brakes. And I, if I'm just sitting on level ground, um, going in to run in real quick, I'll set the trailer brake because these trucks will shut down after five minutes, auto shut off if you set the trailer brake or the tractor. And it's getting hot already. AC on. Um, you have to set the cruise control up in order to get it to not shut off. So you set the trailer brake, I run in, go check everything, get checked in, come back in, just set that one brake, push it in, go in and park. Once I park, then I set both brakes. And set the cruise control like right now. I'll kick it up. You can hear it, baby. It's from 600 to 700 RPM. Um, then it won't shut down. It all depends on settings and how they have the truck set up. They're not all the same. But the reason I've been doing two brakes is because this trailer, I could set the trailer brakes. It takes two minutes before they actually grab a hold. So I know that's not proper, that's not right. This trader probably I don't know if that would fail a DOT inspection or not. It, they should sit right away. I don't know why it takes so long for it to set. I'm about done with this trailer. Because it is a lift gate, I've got to keep messing with them at these docks, and it makes it harder to even get loads. Because a lot of companies have that DOT bar in the back, and a lot of their newer docks have a hook that comes on and holds that bar, keeps the trailer from walking away from the dock. If you don't have a DOT bar back there because you have a lift gate, it cannot reach back there to grab it. In this case, there's different types of lift gates. Some of them, I have some that fold up underneath the trailer. This one slides up and down. So there is a DOT bar back there. However, the whole platform the deck of the lift gate, which actually folds in half, slides down to the bottom. So it covers the DOT bar. So anything that is mounted to the wall of the dock, this trailer can't get loaded to because that lift gate goes down to about six inches above the ground. You can go all the way to the ground, of course, with it, but you don't need to just to clear it. Got to have nothing in the way. Yesterday she had one. I go, this isn't going to work. But it'll work on that dock right there because that, she had one of them swing bars that grabs all the DOT bar. I go, that one will work because it's low to the ground, but this other one is too high. I, I'm not going to. By the time I lower my gate on top of it, my gate will be eight inches above the deck of the trailer, and you can't go in and out of the trailer. She goes, oh, yeah, go ahead and go to that dock right there. She goes, I had to jam that thing down there because it kept on messing up and wasn't working properly, so I had to jam it on down. I go, well, it's a good thing because I can get under that one, but I can't get under this next one this other one. So anyway, she loaded me up yesterday. I was alright. 
these dots are completely uh, free of any impediments, if you want, if you will, keeping me from unloading. So I just drop the gate back up, and there we go. But I've had this trailer all week. It makes it tough to get loads because it has to be lift gate friendly. And then I didn't think that it weighed that much, but it's like 3,000 pounds. I'm 37.6 with a half a tank of fuel. Well, normally I'm 34.5 with a half a tank of fuel. But for a regular dry van. I sent the dispatcher a message this morning. It's like, I'd like to get back to Denver. My debit card, I was having problems. Like, Prime, sorry, was charging me $13 a month for something. I didn't sign up for it. Then there was another company that was charging me $10 a month. I don't even know what the hell it was. I called Wells Fargo. I go, I don't know what these are. You just cancel them. She goes, oh, we'll cancel your card. Just give you another card. I'm like, all right. So I told my dispatcher, I need to get another bank card. Because for one, I don't have one. I've been using my credit card, but I didn't know this, but you don't want to use your credit cards that much. You don't want to go 30%, more than 30% of what your credit limit is. So it, can, it could negatively impact you on your credit report. I didn't know that. I was talking to a law firm a while back about that stuff. So what I've been doing in the meantime is just I just kept throwing money onto my card so I don't go over that 30%, but I'm showing a lot of active use, so I do have cash. I'll start using that more until I can get my bank card. Let my credit card cool off a little bit. It's all paid up, but I've been running it hot and heavy because I didn't have a bank card. And I just throw money on it. I always, I never that's always paid off at the end of every month anyway. I don't never do the payment option thing. Screw that. Huh. Was it 18 or 20 percent? I don't know. I got it set up for auto pay too in case I forget for somehow. At least I, I don't mess up there. But anyway, I go, hey, I need to get this. I need to get back to Denver to get my bank card. I'm about done with this trailer. He's like, we're waiting for these loads to come in. I'm like, cool, I get to drop this trailer off. We'll just hold on to it for now. I'm like I am. Anyway, this is kind of boring for y'all, so I will see you in a bit. That wasn't too bad. The time is 9.58. 58 minutes. It took almost six hours yesterday in Cisco. It took 58 minutes from the time I drove in to the time I'm leaving. This is about normal for what I deal with. That is why I do not like grocery. They F you through the drive-thru. <laughs> they know you're going to be gone. 
so the F fuse is a drive suit. Anyway, I am waiting to find out what's going on. What I'm doing next. The cock is ticking and I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm just going back to that truck stop and hanging out there at the TA <laughs> until I can find something out. This is a big warehouse. Reader's Link, DVDs, CDs, magazines, books. This is going to be interesting. Wide turn, Clyde. Alto. I guess he's going to move the cones for us. I'll move that meaning I can get around him, boss. I appreciate it. Well, I think we'll just go back to the truck stop. He ain't telling me nothing. I hate that about this guy. I send him comments like, what am I, uh, I'll be unloaded soon, just checking to see what you got going on after about an hour and a half. I'll send another, another text. No comment? Like he doesn't, he, he communicates sometimes. But if he doesn't know nothing, he won't say a damn word. It's like, that's fine. Tell me you don't know. Tell me you don't know when it's going to happen. I'm all right with that. Just leave me hanging. That sucks. Doesn't tell me anything here. 
and there's no signage. I'm looking at the sign here to the left. It says 35 North. The highway I was on didn't say Jack. BS. I almost went straight till I looked at the other lane, the other direction, and looked what their signs said. Stuck your nose there, keep it going. <sighs> Some people. So I see some people they're worried about, oh, this reserved parking. Yep, sure is. You don't have to worry about it until nighttime when people actually want to use it or pay to use it. They don't pay to use it during the day. Some probably do if they're the bright ones. Let's go off duty since I burned my clock up. Already burning it up at 14 anyway. This guy's gonna make a right hand turn, a left hand turn right here. Really? Okay. He'll find out when he gets to the other end, it's a little tighter than he thinks. She must go straight, and then left. lazy. Lost. 
Rangers. Okay, see you in a bit. Well, we finally have something. At least I think. They told me to head over to this place, and I'm not too happy about it. I read the reviews. Four to five hour loads. Load time. It's just ridiculous. I hope that's not the case, but usually people are pretty right when they refuse. See you in a bit.
of our next signal. That'd be what we want. That's what we want. He can do whatever he wants. Petro in Zakapu. Vamanos, vamanos. sides of the building. I don't know which side to necessarily go on to as DHL, David, Henry, and Larry. Something to that effect. It's 1800. I think that's probably air. I think at 18, 1600. I just don't know. Uh, don't know. must be around somewhere else. I don't think we're in the right now. There's probably air there. We'll go see.
precise, I would have to look at my e-log and say, Roanoke Tank Tops. We used to pick up paint in this area. Can you think of it? Brain cells are coming back to me. Texas. The lane is ending. The blinker is on. The people don't care. The one does, two does. Thank you there. Apologetic. Sorry for the lift gates. Hard to get loads. Like I understand. Been with this company long enough. When we get a lift gate. It's tough to get loads. Like I was saying earlier, you have a locking bar that will grab the DOT bar. Trailer from moving, you can't do that with the lift gate. This big old freeway, and they only got one lane.
like about Texas roadways. You need to get on the left side, the other side of the freeway going the other way. Normally you would sit, wait for this stoplight, wait for the other stoplight. They do it right in Texas. They do it right. If then you ask me. is the on-ramp is right here. <laughs> and you come out right here where this truck is. And if you go that way to the right, it just ends up dead-end lane. Or actually, no, you probably just make a loop around. That looks like it. Just make two loops around. Here we go. Coming in from the north here is a little bit, it's a little tight, a little rough. It can be done, of course, but it's just a little bit rough. So we'll pull in here to security, security. Let them know we are ready to go. I don't think I'm going to clear that. I'm not going to clear that. Let's do this again. Nobody behind me. It's a good thing I looked at that a little bit better. Okie dokie, pokey. The flashers be flashing. Again. I don't think a lot of people go this way. I'm glad they go. We will solve it the old fashioned way. We call it a do over. At least I didn't do any damage. Too bad. 
14 minutes running. We have our new trailer hooked up, pre trip. Rocky and Roll Radio. So the destructions tell you to come in from the north and not from the south like we did. It's a good thing I pay attention, huh? <laughs> we can do it the other way but we can't so what we'll do is try a different approach Do it this way. It's out of the bounds of the way, out of the way to do things. But it does work very well. That's how they do it, takes.
Zeppelin said in through the outdoor. Next 